Keyboard shortcuts. I'm saving time. I'm saving time. I'm saving money. Hey guys, Corey here, and today I'm going to teach you the first five keyboard shortcuts you should learn in Adobe Premiere. Now, this is the first step into becoming a more advanced editor where you can get rid of this guy. So if we if we watch our clip here, we can see the skateboarder takes a while to enter the frame. And let's say we want him to start right here. If I were to push Q, what it will do is it's gonna trim from that point and shift everything forward, making this point the beginning of my clip. So if I push Q, boom, ripple edit. Now if we play, that's the beginning of our clip. And that's it right there. Now the second keyboard shortcut is W. W essentially does the same thing as Q, except it trims the tail end of your clip. So let's, uh, let's say um, we want it to stop midair here because he doesn't land. Uh, let's say if I click W now, it's going to go right to my next clip. All right, so let's go to the beginning. So here he goes, he jumps, doesn't land, we're off to the next guy. Okay, and we can keep going here and let's say he exits frame. Um, there's like this weird lull behind. So I don't want that, so let's just go back and stop it here. Now if I click W, it's going to trim everything. Now the next three are a series that you should all know and once you know all three of them you're going to be basically editing fairly quickly. So the third one is J. So what J will do is it will actually rewind. So kind of like a, an old school tape deck, if you push rewind it's going to rewind in real time. So if I push it once, we're going to rewind normal speed. Okay. Now if I push it twice, it'll go two times as fast. Right? So let's see that again. Two times as fast, three times. The more you click it, the faster it'll rewind. Your next one is K and K essentially pauses. So if I were to rewind, push K, it pauses it. And then if I do L, that'll fast forward. And same thing, I could go as slow or as fast as I want the more times I click it. So, right? So with these five shortcuts, you're going to be well on your way editing very quickly. So there you go. You learned the first five keyboard shortcuts that you should be using in Adobe Premiere. If you guys found this video helpful, please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. If you have any more questions or comments, let me know in the comment section below. You can also find me on social media on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And as always, I'll see you next time.